sa patuloy na pag-unlad ng teknolohiya. Lalong dumarami ang mga social applications na maaring subukan upang magtatag ng koneksyon sa ibang tao mula sa iba't ibang lugar, kabilang na dyan ang mga online dating apps. Marami ang nauhumaling sa ganitong mga apps, pero dahil nga iba't ibang uri ng mga tao na makikilala natin dito, nararapat din na maging maingat tayo sa pagbibigay ng ating mga personal na impormasyon. Paano nga ba natin makokontrol o mafefilter ang pag-disclose ng ating personal information online? Isa sa mga paraan para gawin ito ay ang tinatawag na data detox. Ito ay ang proseso ng paglilinis ng ating online profile kung saan tinatanggal at nililimitahan natin ang mga hindi kailangang impormasyon na ating nilalagay at binabahagi online. Sa pamamagitan ng data detox, maaaring mapanatili natin ang ating kaligtasan at privacy sa social media at maging sa mga dating apps. Alamin kung paano nga ba gawin ang data detox at ang kahalaga nito. Dito lang sa MIL 101. Mahalaga talaga na maging maingat tayo pagdating sa ating mga personal na impormasyon. Kaya naman ngayong umaga para gabayan tayo tungkol sa data detox at iba pang paraan para gawin ito, ay mapaparayam natin si Professor Ruby Jean Fabros de Chailes. Magandang umaga, Professor Ruby Jean. And ang... Uh, ito po ay mula sa World City College, Ate Polo. Si Prof. Fee po ito. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Thanks for having me to be here. Salat ng viewers. I think we've met through online before, ma'am. Kasama natin yung chair ninyo. But anyway, uh, before we proceed with the personal talks, I want to first know, una po sa lahat, maaaring niyo po bang ipaliwanag sa amin kung ano yung konsepto nitong data detox? Okay. All right. Data detox from the term detox, you will have to be cleansing. Okay? Gaya rin doon sa sinabi ko nyo sa, sa opening statement, no? Cleansing or pag-inulis ng mga data na dapat, uh, ng mga data na hindi na natin ginagamit, mga nabuksan natin na hindi na natin ginagamit. We have to cleanse it. No? And I'm sure that most of the Filipinos no, are aware with the kind of society we have now. Also especially or the guests or the youth of today who grew up with um, rapid digital changes. Alam na alam nila no, na merong, uh, merong risk no, at merong mga dapat lilinsin. Okay? So data, with data detox, I have two definitions. The first one um, is sometimes data detox is called digital detox where a person must uh, take a scheduled break away from their gadgets. Of course, that, is, that includes using smartphones, tablets, laptops, technically all digital devices. You, know? you will take a break away from it. While the second one, data, data detox, is used by organizations nowadays you know, uh, in the areas of civil society, academic institutions, libraries, museums, and even uh, cultural centers. You know? and other organizations and individuals who want to promote digital privacy or security, well-being, and of course, how to discuss uh, misinformation. In short, All right. mm -hmm. na, digital ethics. All right, Ms. Ruby Jane, sa panahon ngayon at prisk po ang ating seguridad online dahil na rin sa mga data and information na nai-share natin unknowingly sa social media. Ano-ano po ba yung mga posibleng risk ng oversharing ng ating personal information sa digital platform? Well, there could be a lot of risk. Like identity theft, account takeover, or hacking, cyberbullying, Password, uh, password of uh, security issues, damage to reputation, is for too many, too many to mention talaga. You see, as we are experiencing advancements from time to time, yung mga cyber criminals, I call them cyber criminals, uh, perpetrators, nag upgrade din sila. And we can often you know, see it on the news, nababalitaan natin yung mga uh, kwento ng nasca. So, for me, data detox, is a must para we can avoid difficult, those difficult situations. Alright, Ms. Ruby Jane, kasi sa paggamit ng dating apps, talagang binibigay natin yung ating mga personal information. Pero up to what extent? I thought this is good to discuss. No? Kasi hindi naman pwede sabihin na hindi maganda or dapat 
ipagbawal yung mga applications na ito, like yung specifically yung mga dating apps, no? Kasi they are part of uh, the technological advancements that we have been experiencing. And to be honest, marami rin naman inspiring stories on how they have, you know, found a partner or a friend online. But on the other hand, there are a lot of risks on dating apps, no? Like uh, the online dating fraud, cyber scammers, cyber stalking, sexual abuse. So I guess all I'm saying in here is, you should be uh, aware, no, we must be aware of how much information is to be built on your profile. Okay? You have to take note that you do not know these people no, or the people uh, in that particular dating app. So you have to be very careful in sharing your personal information. Like, uh, do not give them access to your others, um, other social media accounts, you know, which include where, uh, with your other social media accounts. It includes where you spend time, photos of your family. You may also want to keep private, you know, private where you went to, uh, uh, private where you went to school or your employer, because making this information available means that even after you have blocked people through, through the dating app, they could still find you and they could still, you know, do some uh, horrible things. No? So, may, um, you just have to be careful. Have limits. No? Wag agad agad ibibigay or lahat lahat ibibigay. No? But the good thing naman with online, uh, with some online dating apps, no? they have security features in place designed to protect mm -hmm. the people who use them. Okay. All right. Um, we understand, syempre, it's a shared responsibility. So, let's see yung side na kung ano ba ang pwedeng gawin natin as the user and also the different uh, dating companies para masiguro pa rin natin na yung information natin or personal information per se ay ating nasi-secure at nasi-secure din ng dating company. What could be the advice for that? All right. So we have this thing called digital and media literacy. You see in school, literacy has been referred to as ability to read and write. But with the technological advancements in the 21st uh, century, it is very important to consider developing media literacy skills. No, kailangan magkaroon tayo nito no? ng kaalaman. Media literacy, literacy skills, which is an ability to access, analyze, evaluate, communicate, and create media. So you see, media literacy enables a person to become um, competent in processing and assessing the media. You know? And the media literate person can definitely think independently and make his own opinion instead of uh, relying relying on what the media uh, dictates. So for media uh -huh. literate, for media lit ang isang tao, mapipili niya kung anong application mm -hmm. ang safe gamitin or safety care or i-connect ang ibang social media apps. Alright. On that note, thank you so much, Ms. Ruby Jean Fabros de Shailes sa pagbabahagi sa amin ng inyong kalamayan. So, sa pingito at sa paglalaan ng oras para sa amin ngayong umaga. Maraming salamat po. Ayan mga ka-RSP ha, para dun sa mga mahilig mag-swipe left and right sa mga dating apps, ingat-ingat sa pagbabahagi ng inyong personal information dahil baka imbes na pag-ibig ang mahanap ninyo, ay baka mauwi kayo sa panganib at sakit ng ulo. Pero syempre, higit sa lahat, ang pinakamalaga rito ay mahanap natin ng ating the right one at hindi na maloko pa.